What if I told you that you could generate Flux 1 AI images using Replicate and Postman? Here's seven easy steps to get started with no prior knowledge required. We're going to use the Flux 1 Schnell model, which was recently released by Black Forest Labs, to generate the images. There are multiple ways to access this model, but I'll be showing you how to use Replicate API. To do all of this, we'll be working with Postman, an application that makes using APIs easy and more streamlined. Step one is easy, just navigate to postman.com, create an account, and download the desktop version suitable for your computer. Step two involves creating a new collection of requests, giving it a name, adding a request, and setting the type to post. Now for step three, we want to navigate to our desired model on replicate.com. Head over to the HTTP tab and scroll down to find the URL and header information. Then paste the URL into your Postman request and go back to Replicate to grab the header information. Now in Postman, you can click the headers tab and paste the information like so. In step four, you're going to need to create a Replicate API token. Click on your username in the top left, select API tokens and click create token. Then copy the token and paste it over the placeholder that Replicate provided for us in the headers tab. Don't forget to click save. Step five involves defining your request. First in Postman, navigate to the body tab, select raw, and go back to Replicate to grab the information I have highlighted here. After pasting it into the body tab, you can see that this is the prompt we will give to the Flux 1 Schnell model. Feel free to change it to whatever you like. Then hit save and send. After hitting send, Postman will generate some output. Notice here that status is set to starting. What might this mean? Well, when you send your request from Postman to replicate, it will initiate the image generation process, which is why it says starting. However, to get the status of the image generation later in the process, you need to send another request. If the image has been generated, you will receive the output image. So now in step six, we're going to do just that. To get the status, you need the get URL. If you want to instead cancel your image generation and terminate the process, you will use the cancel URL. Then add a new request of type get and paste in your desired URL. Copy over the same header information from the previous request and hit save and send. And now we've reached our final and most satisfying step in the process. Once Postman generates the output, you can copy this link and paste it into your browser. If your image is finished, you can click the download. But before I show you the image, I want to remind you that if you need any help with your project, reach out to us. We offer development and support services to assist you. Contact us at generativelabs.co slash message us. All right, now let's check out that image. There you have it, your Flux1 Schnell AI generated image. If you'd like to create more images, you can go back into your request and edit the prompt. I want to make an image of a cool warrior with a shield that says Flux Schnell in an electronic cyber world style. Once you've edited the prompt, make sure to hit save and send. Then grab the get URL and paste it into the get request. From there, hit save and send. It should generate a new output URL for you to paste into your browser. And there you have it. Seven easy steps for generating Flux 1 Schnell AI images using Replicate and Postman. If you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. We appreciate your support. Until next time.